In this video, we're going to be talking about what complete combustion means, what the products are, and how to balance equations for combustion. If I'm going to burn something completely, then that means that I'm going to burn it in an excess of oxygen. That means there's more than enough oxygen for everything to burn. There are two products that complete combustion of hydrocarbons always gives you, which are carbon dioxide and water every time. So let's check out some equations. If I have methane being burnt in an excess of oxygen, let's write the equation for that. So methane is meth and an alkane, so that means it has one carbon and it's CH4. It must be reacting with oxygen because it's always burnt in oxygen and the products are always CO2 and water. So this is the base of my equation here. Now if you're going to balance a combustion equation, you want to balance the, the elements that only appear in one place on each side first. So I recommend that we balance the carbons First, and if we look at the carbons on both sides, you can see they're the same, they've both got one. Then we balance the hydrogens. Now on the left hand side, I've got four hydrogens, and on the right hand side, there are only two hydrogens. So I need to put a big two in front of that water to make it work. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the oxygens, because they're going to be the ones that cause me the most problems. So on the left, I've got two oxygens, and on the right, currently, I have four oxygens, because it's 2O and 2O2, so four in total. So that means that in front of my O2 on the left, I now need to put a big two, and then everything is balanced. Let's check out the complete combustion of propene. So this is C3H6, it's an alkene, can still be combusted. Um, it reacts with O2 and makes CO2 and water just like the last one. Let's go through the steps. So step one is balance the carbons out. So now that means I need three on the right hand side to balance the three on the left. The hydrogens, I need, I've got six on the left and I've only got two on the right, so that means that I need another big three in front of that to make it six hydrogens on the right hand side. Now the oxygens are what's going to cause you most of the problem. The left hand side has two oxygens in it. The right hand side has six oxygens from those three CO2s and it's got three oxygens from the 3H2O. So overall, that gives me nine oxygens on the right-hand side. Now that's not easy to balance overall. And what we often do in combustion equations is we allow ourselves to put a half number in front of the oxygen. So in this case, I know I need nine oxygens. So that must mean that I need four and a half O2s on the left hand side to balance everything out. You can write that in fractional form, top heavy fractions, however you want to write it, is still a balanced equation. If you don't feel comfortable with that, feel free to just double everything and then retry to balance the equation here. Thanks for watching guys, that's all about complete combustion and how you balance the equations to get those two products balanced out perfectly.